the crucial content of the news is, is completely distorted by uh, uh, large commercial interests. For the 2004 election, the major networks hired Edison Media Research and Matoski International to conduct exit polls. Throughout Election Day, those polls suggested that John Kerry would win the popular vote by 3%. The official vote count showed Bush winning by 2.5%, a discrepancy of 5.5%, or 8 million votes. The mainstream news media dismissed these polls. but in a fit of irony, used the Ukrainian exit polls as a basis to call that election into question. And except for the Internet, the story largely disappeared. On January 19, 2005, Edison Matovsky released a report on their exit polls. The New York Times ran the story the next day, Inauguration Day on page A14. A group of academics and statisticians from a number of major universities analyzed the report. Quote, Edison Matovsky assumes the correctness of the election results, which their own data undercuts. The pollsters surmise that somehow Maybe more Kerry voters responded to the polls. But no data in the report supports the hypothesis that Kerry voters were more likely than Bush voters to cooperate with pollsters. And the data suggests the opposite may have been true. In the face of pervasive reports of voting anomalies in Ohio, Representative John Conyers conducted an inquiry that raises even more questions. He also called upon the networks. In a letter, he requested the raw poll data. I am hopeful that the media companies will also understand and support the importance of providing complete and transparent information in this matter. If it happens, but you don't hear about it, did it happen? Some reporters have compared George W. Bush to Ronald Reagan. I reflected back on the Post interview from 1980 and about the hostages. How often do major news stories get buried down the public memory hole while a lie is turned into truth. There's a window of opportunity now. Most governments, uh, most countries have not figured out how to limit access to the, to the Internet. And they've not figured out, and powerful companies have not figured out how to block information that is inconvenient or unfriendly to them or that they don't like off of the Internet. At least in this brief window that we have before they all figure it out. Will history repeat itself? Will the public find out about the threat to the Internet before it's too late? We're not in the clear here at all. I mean, this is not a straight shot here where we can just go ahead and do whatever we want. It's, it's complicated, but, but it's new, and there's some things we don't know about it and no one else knows about it, and as long as there's a, is there the slightest bit of vagueness or the unknown element is, is something I'm going to exploit as much as possible.
place or afraid I look. But maybe that's why you're looking for me again. Cause you're ready to throw yourself to the wind. Where we started from again. 